Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. I may or may not be recording this at 9 a.m., okay? Uh, I may or may not be getting this video out within the hour, but you know what? Sometimes we need tight uh, schedules. Um, anyway, uh, if you want to be involved in the right teams, all you need to do is send in a HD console screenshot of your team with a description and what you play in game, preferably two screenshots would be nice. Uh, and just follow me on Twitter and, and you'll get notified basically when I tweet out looking for teams. Uh, link in the description to my Twitter, it's just at its saber. Um, Mike's team first. Uh, first pick is how I start. A second is in game. Don't really have coins right now, but would like to know what the next improvement is. This full untradeable team should be. Or say in this full und untradeable team should be. Um, I mean, solid team. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think that Outwa would be a good offensive centre mid. I'm not entirely sure about a striker. Like, I know obviously his default card is striker. But um, I feel like what you should do, in my opinion, is look to possibly get... I mean, first of all, Mbappe, definitely. But... Um, that's a long time down the line. What I would say is potentially um, looking to get a, a cheaper league on striker. Maybe you look at the likes of Ben Yedda or something. Um, and then play Alwar as a centre mid and try him more offensively. What I found this year is with centre mid, you actually don't really need defenders. Oh, sorry. Centre mid with good defending stats. Like most players if they have decent reactions, can get a ball back anyway because you don't really need to tackle on this game. So you can use anyone there. And I think more offensive centre mids is the way forward, especially if you're trying to break down five backs or deep players, things like that. Um, next one from Joe says, uh, you are Haven HD. Let's go, dude. Uh, I play a 4 triple 2 and have about 400k to improve my team, uh, but very stuck. Any improvements would be appreciated. Of course, mate. Let's have a look. So you play 4 triple 2 in game. I'm, I'm assuming you use Rooney and Kante CDM. Pele up top with Eto and Cruyff with the baller as the cams. That's what I would guess. I mean, this team is really good. I see why you're stuck because upon first look, I mean, there's not really a whole lot you can do with this team. Um, I would potentially say looking for a new center mid wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, there's that new Lee Malou, which, uh, sorry, a new CDM, should I say. This new Lee Malou card looks pretty nice. How much is it in game? 123k. This will get a plus two if they do get six goals. I don't know if that's possible or not. I don't know how bad or good uh, OGC Nice are. But what I will say is this card with a plus two would be pretty naughty. Uh, eight, you're talking 80 plus plays, 80 plus de uh, defending, four star, four star, and really nice in-game stats as well. I think it could be a very, very solid CDM and more offensive. Obviously, Kante is really good, but if you're looking for a new CDM, that's a suggestion you could do. Um, and I thought I'd also mention, before we go any further, because I'll forget to mention it otherwise, um... In previous years, uh, this series has been about improving your teams. Now, I'm kind of just giving you guys suggestions because I feel like at this stage of the game, there's not a whole lot that can be improved with your teams without huge upgrades. Like, realistically, unless you're getting a big boy center back, big boy left back, big boy CDM, another big boy CDM, like we're talking like big icons, you can't really actually improve this team. So it's just suggestions on what you could do potentially uh, more than improvements. Uh, but that's what I... Excuse me, that's what I would personally say. I got the hiccups right now. Um, I would say possibly try that Lee Malou card over a CDM. I think it could work really, really well. We have got uh, Twister Joker's team now, who says everyone is untradeable. Got 3.2 mil, and I'm saving it up for a prime icon moment. Uh, SBC. Uh, I play a 4 2 3 1 in game and a 4 triple 2 in game. Uh, sorry, 4 4 2 in game with a 4 3 1 2. Um, love the vids, bro. Keep the good work. Congrats on the weight loss. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, dude. So. I mean, it's a good team. I'm assuming you play Kleber at centre-back, as most people do. First things first, you will get better chemistry if you just swap Nelson Semedo with Joe Gomez. I mean, Joe Gomez is on 8 and Nelson's on 7. Nelson will get the same amount of chemistry at right centre-back as he would at left centre-back. So, you might as well swap those over, in my opinion, um, and get Joe Gomez on 10 chem. I would say, with this team, I won't lie to you right here, boys. I actually don't like that freezer armor. After careful consideration... He is pants. He's just not good. I know a lot of people like him because he's got a lot of pace, but defending-wise, he's pretty bad. He doesn't have great strength, in my opinion. Like, I know his stat says differently, but he doesn't feel like he's got good strength. And his defensive awareness is absolute pants. Um, I would honestly look at maybe the team of the year, honorable mentions, uh, Robertson at left back. I think that'd be a pretty cool uh, change. Uh, we have got JH's or Jake Hurley's team now. Uh, Long-time Twitch supporter. 
Only got 100k tradable. Uh, sorry, and, and the only tradable is Varan. Um, love the videos and streams. Give you a good work. Thank you, bro. Uh, I think some players are darker because I had Varan highlighted. Yeah, I see that. Uh, I could just about make out the players. Um, it, I don't know why it does this. Um, I would say with only 100,000 coins, you really can't upgrade much, if anything. I think that your best upgrade next is probably trying to figure out how to get rid of this Hiero card. I obviously know that, you know, you've packed it untradeable um, and you probably won't want to get rid of it soon. But I think Varane is still a usable centre-back. Um, and whilst his Fernando Hiero is usable, I think that he's going to hold you back. So what I would say for him is uh, do a bit of saving and then look towards getting a nice base icon. Perfect would be something like a base icon Rio, but he's really expensive. Um, so maybe looking towards uh, uh, how much is base Cannavaro these days? Is he pretty cheap? I have absolutely no idea. Um, what's base kind of at right, right now? 950k. I thought it was cheaper than that, to be fair. Wow. Um, is there any any cheaper icon center backs? Let me know in the comments down below who you guys have put there. Obviously, you need to remember that Reese James needs at least a soft link to get eight chemistry as well. Um, we have Vic's team next, who says, uh, not the best, but I have a mini Spurs themed team. Interesting. Okay. I see kind of what you're going for. Not really. I mean, you've got Son, Deli Alley, and uh, and Bale, and then Kyle Walker as well. Did anyone else here play for Spurs at any point? I know Rooney didn't, Adama didn't, uh, Eto definitely didn't, McTominay, Wambasaka, and Fafana didn't. Did Pope? I don't know. Um, it's very many indeed, but I respect it. It's somewhat different, I guess. Um, in terms of actual improvements you can make to this squad, though. Definitely get yourself a new seat, uh, right mid. Definitely uh, bring that play with Bruno into play. Uh, I feel like this is kind of just for, for the show. I feel like you definitely play something different in game. I'm assuming this, this Ronaldo gets played in game. Uh, I'd assume that this Bruno gets played in game as well. Um, but I mean, it, it, cool idea. You, you didn't put your Larice and Dombele on there either though. Get those on if you want to do Spurs theme. Um, any changes? Got 600k in the bank. Let me have a look, dude. Um, ooh, okay, Rivaldo. Interesting. I really don't see that Rivaldo much because he's been subbed off. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I really don't see Rivaldo much. Um, apparently, that's why. What I would say with this team is... It's, it's, I, I personally am not a big fan of subbing players off early. Um, I'm just thinking, is there a way that you can get better chemistry? Not really. I understand why you sub them off. It's for the chemistry. Yeah, you don't really have an option with chemistry here. I would say changes wise with 600,000 coins. Get the right back Dallow. There's no point in having the left back at right back. Even if it is untradeable, just buy the right back Dallow. With 600k, you might as well. Uh, I would say as well, with 600,000 coins, potentially look again at a different left back. There are a few different, uh, decent options in uh, the La Liga for left backs. And I know obviously everyone flocks to Ferland Mendy. But a cool uh, option you could go with is this new Yuri Berry Chiche card. Um, I think it's a quick, pretty cool card. 149k has a potential to upgrade by two as well. It's got an 89 rated card in game. I think it'd be really, really nice. Um, and then also that will get a Spanish strong link to Cucurella in case you ever want to change out any of these icons and change things up. Um, which I think would be a pretty cool addition. But apart from that, not really. Um... I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't really change a whole lot else other than that. Uh, Kamal's got 400k. Varane, Mendy, Mane, Pope, and tradable. Oh, sorry, are tradable. I'm not going to lie, I'm really tired, by the way, so I'm struggling to read. Uh, they are tradable. 5-3-2 in game. What should I do? Uh, play a different formation, in my opinion. <laughs> no, but seriously, boys. 5-3-2 in game. Come on, man. Like, I know everyone seems... Like, okay, I'm going to speak honestly about this, and and, and I don't want to I don't want to come across as a as a, an idiot, like, uh, just a, a horrible person. I think... I understand why a lot of people want to play 5-3-2 because the pros are hyping it up right now as the new meta. However, most people that play a 5-3-2 don't play it the way the pros intended. The pros intended for you guys to go press after possession loss, uh, both wing backs on stay forward and overlap, uh, midfielders on, you know, stay forward, get into the box for crosses, fast build up. They basically intended it to be full attack suffocation. And what most people play is they tend to make their own tactics and it'd be drop back, super low depth. And a lot of people will say, well, I don't, I play attacking. A lot of people lie about that. A lot of people say they play attacking and they don't play attacking because it's not attacking to fire a three ball through the middle every once in a while. And 
talking from experience of playing weekend league for the last three or four weeks, that's all it seems to be now is 5-3-2, through ball spam down the middle, hoping that it works, or running up the line with your left or right wing back and, sp and spamming a cross in. It ain't that fun in my opinion. I would try and experiment with different formations and just give it a go. Like, I don't see why we wouldn't experiment with different formations. Like, the 4-3-1-2 seems really, really cool. Um, I've been using it this weekend and I'm, I'm absolutely smashing people with it. It's really, really fun. Um, and I'd say, like, like just try out a few different formations if you really want to because, I, I you know, I don't think there's much to change in this squad, but you absolutely could have a bit more fun with the squad if you tried out something different. That's going to be, like, a big... If you guys do play the five-back and you want to submit your teams... You're likely going to get a uh, try something different uh, kind of answer because I really like it's not that I'm trying to make you feel bad for playing the 5-3-2. I just want the meta to change a little bit personally. It, just my opinion. Anyway, um, this is uh, Orion's team. Uh, he's got a mill for upgrades. This is a nice team, man. Very nice team. 4-2-2 on two on two in game. That is a very, very nice team. Uh, with a million coins, what would I upgrade here? Honestly, probably your left back. Try Prime Ashley Cole. Why not? Just give him a go. Or Prime Moments Ashley Cole. How much is Prime Moments Ashley Cole these days? I'm pretty sure he's not that much. Why not? Just give this card a go. Might as well. It's a bit fun, isn't it? Oh, he's 1.5. Give it a go. Why not? Just try it out. See what it's like. Might as well. Uh, we have got uh, Spud Rage's team. 4 2 3 1 in game. Sorry, let me just. I. Honestly, didn't think I'd be able to find a team better than mine. Wow. That is incredible. Very, very nice team. Um, obviously, there's no changes to make to this. It's just absolutely phenomenal. GG's, bro. That's a very, very nice team. We've got Jay Demon's team. You have three strikers with low passing at Cam. And then you have a, a center forward with good passing at Striker. Then you have a high medium 79 defending CDM at center back. And a... Good defending, low, uh, medium high CDM at CDM. Swap those over as well. Um, and put R9 up top. And then you're, you're in business, I think. Um, no, it's a solid team, to be fair, mate. Really, really nice. And, and like, in this team, by the way, that's Packpool R9, Packpool Vieira, Packpool Blanc, Packpool Puskas as well. Packpool uh, Cantona on the bench. It's a very, very nice team indeed. Very nice in team indeed. Uh, last two for this episode. Sorry that it is a short one. I do apologize. Um... In fact, we'll put two more teams in here. So it's going to be four more teams in this. Again, sorry for a short one. I, I honestly just forgot uh, that it was Saturday last night. I do apologize. Um, anyway, Ben's team. All incredible except for Marcelo, Rooney, and Neymar. Switch in game. Again, just try something different. Why not? Just give something different a go. Um, I do respect that you've, you know, you've gone down the route of getting Sinchenko and Atal at your wing backs and Marcelo in game as well. You know, that's a little bit different. It's, it's you know, not following the same path as everyone else and this does look a lot more attacking than usual um but yeah I'd, i would say i would say just try something a little bit different to be honest um try something a little bit new uh we've got freddy's team next who says everyone apart from terrera uh is untradeable i've got rad 200k for upgrades and the second pick is what i play in game nice team and in game you're playing a 4-4-2 solid boateng and ferdinand at the back pogba jones Grealish, and Mane. uh the only thing about that Grealish is i don't think he's got enough pace to play as a right mid well, who would I use instead is a good question. Um, I don't really have an answer for that, to be fair. I mean, yeah, I, I see why you use him there, to be fair. Um, I'm not really... You know what? I take that back. You use him there because I can't think off the top of my head of someone that could actually go there. <laughs> I was really... Uh, I apologize. Uh, we've got Fudge's team. This is my full team and tradable with anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 mil to spend. Come on, Ryan. Um, I play 3-5-2 in game. Thinking of getting Prime Icon Moments Carlos as my next upgrade. Any other thoughts and suggestions? Love the vids. Keep it good work. Thank you, brother. Wow. What a team. So this is what you play in game. Uh, and this is what you're thinking. Would work pretty well, to be fair. The only thing I would say about Carlos uh, is that... So he'll be playing in game, what? Right mid? Pretty sure Carlos has a abysmal weak foot and, and he's left footed. Right? Uh, I might be wrong on that, but I'm almost certain that's the case. Yeah, two-star weak foot left-footed is not, sadly, a good option. Maybe if you put best on the right mid spot and Carlos on the left, it'd work a lot better. Um, and and if that if you are going to do that, then I I you know I I I would say do that. To be fair, um, the rest of the team is solid though, bro. That that defense is absolutely ridiculous. That CDM partnership is ridiculous. Very very nice team indeed, mate. Maybe. 
I didn't like base one on Um, Just too slow and sluggish for me. I would say maybe upgrade him. You could even go for someone like Promic on Moments Deco in swaps if you really wanted to. I understand he's getting the link there. But yeah, apart from that, everything else is absolutely fantastic, mate. And the last one is going to be from Zeb, who says 200k to upgrade, 4 2 3 1 in game, packed Moments for Ron last week. Nice. GG, man. Congrats on that. I'm still yet to pack my first icon. We've not packed an icon in absolutely ages, to be fair. Um, it's a very nice team, to be honest. With 200k to spare, I would potentially... Hmm. What would I do here? Potentially not upgrade anything yet and just save to get a better left back. I mean, who could you put a left back? I obviously love Alex Sellers. I think he's the absolute main man. But there's a lot of good French left backs. So you can decide between which ones you want to use there. Um, as I get full cam, or just even another Prem left back, to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's it for IoT Teams this episode. Sorry, it's a bit of a short one, and apologies if I absolutely butchered everything, and, and you know, I'm stumbling over my words and stuff. Um, yet to sleep. I forgot to record it, so I stayed up super late to get this video out. Stayed up super late. Technically super early, as it's 9am, and I'm still awake. I still haven't slept. I'm an idiot. I know, I do apologise, but thank you all for bearing with me. Uh, and appreciating the videos. I appreciate that you appreciate them. Uh, it means the world to me. Thank you all for the epic support. Much love, guys, and I'll see you lads later.